Hello there everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am the Crimson Tea and today I'll be talking about the Fading Embers, their weekly cap and why they are so important. So without further ado, let's go! Currently in Diablo Immortal, free to play players have very few ways of attempting to get 5 star legendary gems. We have our monthly legendary quest from the Yields vendor, as well as another one from the same vendor but only if you are part of the Immortals faction. The Season 1 Battle Pass has another free quest at level 10 and two more if you bought the premium version of the Battle Pass. As you can see, there are very few legendary quests for free, so what else can we do to get chances at 5 star legendary gems without paying? Well, Fading Embers is a material that drops whenever you do an Elder Rift. You can get up to 200 by yourself without requiring any party play at all, but there is also another 120 that you can earn also weekly when playing with players who are using Cress, and this makes up a total of earnable Fading Embers per week of 320. You might be wondering what you can do with these Embers, and the answer is buy runes from the Fading Ember Merchant near the Elder Rift entrance. You can get magic runes and rare runes, and those are used back at the jeweler to craft legendary gems, but currently you are not able to craft 5 star legendary gems this way. However, you can also get fa runes, and those cost 18 fading embers each, but also at the jeweler there are 3 crafting recipes that use this fa rune, in different amounts of course. With 7 of those runes you can get the recipe 1 star legendary gem. With 28, the 2 star legendary gem recipe, but the real reason we are talking about this is because of the third recipe, called random legendary gem, which costs 22 far runes. If you check the recipe with attention, you can see that 5 star legendary gems are able to drop from this one. Certainly the drop chance is also horrendous, but it is also an additional source for those gems nonetheless. Quick math tells us that 22 far runes at 18 fading embers each, end up costing us 396 Fading Embers, and if you recall we have a weekly cap of 320, meaning that even if you farm your weekly cap you won't be able to do this recipe every single week. I know these aren't the best news, but if we are being honest with ourselves I assume we weren't expecting any better. Hopefully we see an increase to the amount attainable each week or a decrease in the amount needed so players at least are able to do the recipe once every week. I doubt this would break the monetization of Diablo Immortal either way, but at least it is something pretty easy to change and positive to every single player. I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did, remember to comment, like and subscribe. I'll be covering Diablo Immortal and only buying the basic battle pass, so if you are interested in guides on the game, stay tuned because I've got plenty in the works. With that said, thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video. Bye!